In this video, I'm going to show you how to create real footage videos. Now, these are actually one of my favorite types of videos to create uh, for my landing pages and selling my products, mainly because they're quite easy to make and they're also really uh, effective in communicating. So let me just show you exactly why. So on the first slide, um, they're visually engaging. So using real footage helps you to communicate your message better, okay? So for example, if you have a video script and a voiceover talking about skateboarding in, 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 in the voiceover, and then you show a clip of someone skateboarding at the same time as you're talking about someone skateboarding, you can see that visually they can see what you're talking about and audibly they can hear what you're talking about. Um, so you're basically communicating the same thing twice in two different ways. Um, so it helps you to yeah, communicate your message more effectively. And then also using high quality footage helps to add to the actual branding and the overall quality and feel of the video that you're showing people. So um, having a really professional looking video on your sales page just helps people to perceive you as an expert and your products at, as, the, as high quality products. Okay, so yeah, if you can get some really good quality vo uh, video footage, your you know your videos can look really, really cool. Uh, also, they're easy to make. So all you really need to do is write a video script and then get a voiceover recorded for that script. And then what you need to do is basically match up video clips based on what you're talking about in the actual voiceover. So let's say for example, you have a video that's a one minute long video in duration. What you could do is just get 12 video clips related to your script and then match them up with the script um, on your actual timeline. As the voiceover is speaking, just add one video clip, then the next one and have it about five seconds in duration each and you've got your video done pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is just show you some examples of, uh, you know, real footage videos um, that I've created. And then I'm going to show you how to create them pretty easily inside of Create. Every day, billions of people look at billions of websites all around the world. And for you as a marketer, you want to make sure that your landing pages, funnels and websites stand out. Because when a visitor reaches your page, you only have 5 seconds to grab their attention. And if you don't, you might as well say goodbye to another sale. You see, no matter how great your product is, and no matter how much traffic you're able to generate. With Igloo, creating websites and membership sites is easy, even if you've never made one before. To get started, create a new campaign. Inside your campaign, you can select. Okay, so now what I wanna do is go through and show you some good sites that you can go to to get, to get your video footage. Um, I'm gonna show you a paid one, which is Shutterstock, and then I'm gonna go through a few um, free sites that you can use to get some really high quality video footage, okay? So the first one, Shutterstock, is a paid one, as I mentioned, and this is the one that I often go to to buy my clips. Um, and the reason why is the, the, the quality is very, very good. So you can see some of these clips over here. These are ones that I've actually used in some of my uh, videos in the past. And you can see it looks really, really, really nice. They've got nice actors and yeah, the clips just look really good. So some things that I look for in terms of buying footage is when I buy it, I don't want it to look too much like it's stock footage, okay? I don't want people to think that you've just pushed this from a stock footage site. So you want to kind of, um, you know, look for clips that look more natural. So for example, this guy, you know, he's, he looks like he's in a cafe. It's kind of natural. This one, for example, looks like a startup. He's just kind of walking into his office. Um, yeah, you just kind of want to make it as natural as you can. Again, these ones, this guy's, these guys are on their surfboard. This is like an intro I use sometimes or for a couple of videos, I think. Um, just kind of a starting point. It's kind of off topic, but it is it looks quite nice in the visuals. Um, so you want to make it, yeah, get clips that look like they're kind of being naturally shot. It's not really um, too much like stock footage. Again, this one, for example, the guy in the background, he's just walking around and, and they look like they're hanging out in a cafe. It doesn't look like the they've set up a, a, a photo shoot to actually film these guys, okay? So if I show you, for example, if I go to business, have a search over here. So this lady dancing like this, you can tell <laughs> that just doesn't look natural. You, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it just looks a bit funny. Um, but often, yeah, quite a lot of these kind of businessy clips. Like this one looks quite natural. Um, 
this one kind of looks more stock footagey. Um, if that's if you get if you kind of get what I mean, you kind of want it to make it look natural. Um, yeah, you could use something like that. It looks kind of professional, but it, yeah, it does kind of look also. Yeah, I guess you kind of want to have a look and see which what what suits your kind of video that you're creating. Um, so that's one site Shutterstock. Another one is Pixabay. So if you pu purchase the Pro feature upgrade, you'll have the integration where you can import media directly from Inside Create. Um, but this is a free place where you can get uh, you know royalty free videos. So let's say for example, Sky. If we search in Sky, and you'd have to see you can go through and actually first of all you need to make sure that it's set on videos. And then you can go down over here and you click on that and then you can preview it or download it. So this is one site, it's got quite a lot of uh, videos. Also pixels.com is another free one and these, they have a bunch of ones from Pixabay but they've also got um, other other people who have actually come on their site and uploaded, for example like this one, uploaded video clips um, onto their site as well. So they've got some extra videos. And this is another one that I just stumbled across and all these videos are licensed under the Creative Commons license. So um, I'll show you, for example, this video clip looks really nice. So yeah, like a light bulb. So what you would do is click on the download link um, and yeah, make sure that the, the you got the license, you check out the license that they've got. This one says you have to create the author for this one. Um, yeah, so you wanna kinda of check out with the, with the licenses, but got some really nice looking clips that you can use, okay? So let's go back into create and I'll show you how to create um, a real footage type video. Okay, so what I've done is I've basically imported the footage that I wanna use in this uh, video and I've just done it quickly so that I can save some time. Um, so to import video, just, just simply click on the plus button and select your video from your desktop and everything will be added um, into your media library. So what I'm gonna do first of all is grab my voiceover. So I'm just gonna bring it down over here I'll just preview this one for you. You're just minutes away from creating videos that look like they were created by a professional video studio. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is just cut it about five seconds or so. So just to save some time, if I was gonna create this all in the video, it would take hours to, sh to show you. So um, I'm just gonna kind of show you the main process because it just repeats itself anyway and you can just you know follow that. So I've got my voice over here um, that I got created. And what I wanna do now is go and grab some audio. So inside of the Create Pro, you've got all these audio tracks if you've got Create Pro. If you don't, um, you know you can go to sites like Audio Jungle or Audio Flow and, and uh, grab some tracks. Um, so with this type of video, um, depending on the mood and the feel I wanna bring, um, if I want it to be upbeat, I could use a pop track, so something like this. Or oh, let's have a look, this one maybe. So something like that's really kind of, it's kind of upbeat and happy and it, yeah, it just feels nice with the video. So it's good to go ahead and just, you know, add it to your timeline and preview what it sounds like with the voice actor because different voice actors have different voices and their voices work well with certain types of uh, audio. So let's just preview that, what it sounds like. You're just minutes away from creating videos that look like they were created by a professional video studio. Yeah, that's quite cool. I think that one suits really well. So I'm just gonna cut that like so. Um, you could also, if you want to make it more emotional, go ahead and grab like a cinematic type track. So these are more slower um, kind of feeling. Let's have a look. Like this one, for example. Maybe what I'll do is just give you an example. I'm just going to bring bring this over like so, and bring the is it the emotional piano? Yeah, this one here. So let's drag this down, bring it across, like so, and this preview. Uh, Bring the audio down a little bit, maybe like 50% or so, so you can hear it better with the voiceover. You're just minutes away from creating videos that look like they were created by a professional video studio. Okay, cool. So with this example, you can see that the audio is quite slow, um, but this guy is speaking quite fast, so it doesn't really work well with this type of um, track, okay? If you wanna do emotional styled uh, video with emotional audio, then you probably want someone who's speaking a bit slower, um, yeah, to, to make it sound better. So I'm gonna delete this one. And I'm just gonna add a new track to the bottom and bring this audio back over, okay? So this is a pop track, it's quite upbeat and it works well with this guy's voice. If we just preview that. 
you're just minutes away. Cool. So what I've done is um, I've added the or the voiceover to about. Let's have a look if I go out a little bit. I'm going to add it to about yeah about one second or so. So there's a one second kind of start. Or maybe make it, let's make it two seconds. So after about two seconds, the audio is playing and then he starts speaking, okay? So I'll just drag this out like so as well. Cool. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, go and add a intro video. So the audio starts playing and the intro video shows at the start. I'm just going to drag this out to about there, like so. And if I go back over here, I'm just going to scale this up to make it fit full width. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create... Um, one of these kind of masked uh, logo intros with a nice video in the background. Um, and I'll give you some resources that you can use as well so you can create them pretty quickly. So let's just preview this. You're just minutes away. Cool, so I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit more. So he starts speaking while the video is still like that. And as he says, just minutes away. you're just minutes away, I'm gonna go grab a video clip of a clock because that emphasizes what he's speaking about, okay? You're just minutes away and then let's just have a look at this now I'll just bring it up to make it full width you're just minutes away from creating videos that look okay so the next thing he says is from uh, from creating videos so what I'm gonna do is maybe grab maybe grab this video clip here of this guy kind of working on his computer he might be you know making videos whoops bring this back over bring this like so and scale this up and you can see that this is a stock footage and they've, they've masked out the, um, the Apple logo. So I'm just going to bring this up a little bit so you can't really see that too much. Um, yeah, just don't want to make it look like it. we've been using stock footage in a way. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that. So you're, you're just minutes away from creating videos that look like they've been created by a professional video studio. Okay, so what I'm going to do is maybe grab this one. Now this one's more abstract, so it's a guy kind of walking into his office so you can do that as well it doesn't have to just be exactly like what you're talking about it can be more abstract so use minutes away from creating videos that look like and I'll just cut that like so and then I'll grab maybe this one here um, this one maybe not the the best one for this kind of uh, what he's talking about but it's it's kind of similar so I'm just going to use this just for this example okay cool so let's just preview that through. You're just minutes away from creating videos that look like they were created by a professional video studio. Cool. So that's looking really good. As you can see, like the visuals look really good and it really helps to communicate what, you, what we're talking about with the visuals as well. Um, and what I would do is just continually go through like that. So the voiceover, as the voiceover was going on. Um, yeah, introducing create. By Videla. So this one where it says introduce and create by Videla, I might have like a, a screen recording. So I might go ahead and record my screen and show, um, you know, the software that I'm talking about. Um, in this example, create. So I'd have to use another recorder to record it. Um, but basically showing off, you know, maybe the interface or the welcome screen. And then and then I could record, if he starts talking about, you know, the different features, I can record the features and, and make them look really good. Um, but yeah, using stock footage like this or using you know, video clips that you get from different sites is a really easy way to make videos and make them look really, really professional, especially with this high quality footage. And it's, as you can see, it's really easy to go ahead and, and quickly create these videos. So yeah, go ahead and, you know, get started creating your own ones. Um, and yeah, I hope this video has helped you and go on to the next video and I'll show you how to create these really nice looking intro mask logo animations.